Well, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Just before we get started, I do want to say that um, if you do want to buy yourself a copy of PES 2017 on PC, there will be a link in the description below to Gamers Outlet. They're incredibly cheap, incredibly fast in terms of delivery. Um, and that's where I actually got my key from. There, It's £40 normally on Steam, and it's like £24, £25 over there. So it's, it's really, really cheap. Also... The video kind of cuts out every now and then, like it skips a couple of seconds. It does it at the very beginning um, of the video, and that's just because my recording program was was being annoying. Basically, it just decided that it wanted to be a nuisance. So there's no other reason for that. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy the video, and uh, let me know in the comments if it works. Thanks a lot, and uh, enjoy enjoy the video. Well, what is going on from video? I just want to start off this video by saying if you do want to get yourself a copy, get the uh, the patches, like the kits, the uh, logos. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. The kits and the logos for PES 2017 on PC. Now, of course, the game released today, um, and I spent maybe two or three hours looking for this patch. But all you have to do is essentially download this file. If we go on here, it's in like Russian or something, but if you scroll down, it'll be in English. So it's real names, and all you have to do is click this one of these download buttons. It will take you to a different website. There will it will come up with like AdFly or something like that. You just skip past it, just download it, and it will bring up it bring up this guys. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead um, and double click the installer. You don't have to extract it if you don't want to. Um, it's totally up to you. It'll also bring this up because I'm on Windows 10. It says that it it uh, there's. Uh, the smart screen is preventing this application from starting. Just click run anywhere. I promise you it's not a virus. I've done this myself. Um, right, you want to go and click uh, English or whatever language you're in. Um, go ahead, click next, accept, um, click next, and then browse to your Steam um, folder. So just click Pro Evolution Soccer. So, for example, if you were to go to um, your Windows, whatever, um, go down to... Your program files times 86, scroll all the way down to Steam, um, which I have a lot of stuff. Steam, then go to, what is it, Steam Apps, and then Common, and then find the game, um, and then just install it to to the, the, uh, the directory. So you just click Next, you click Install, it will do its thing, and then I'm going to jump over to the game, and I will show you what it's like in the game. So of course, if you know what it is, you can close this down now. Um, and let's get into the actual game. So now that you're in the game, just head over to Extras. Um, click Edit up here. And then when it loads... Also, one thing about the PC version is why don't they blimmin' launch the servers? It's annoying. It's 8 o'clock in the evening in the UK. I've had this game since about 1 o'clock this morning. Um, and nothing. Um, anyway, go over to Teams. You can see that they've done all of the logos. So the actual new Premier League logo... Um, the Championship, League 1, um, Liga 2, I don't know what, the, I don't know, Italian League, um, Eredivisie, I think that hasn't changed, I'm not sure, I don't know, um, that might have already been licensed, I'm not sure, so the, uh, La Liga, uh, you've got loads of these different badges, so if you go on a Spanish League, for example, it hasn't changed the names for me, I don't think, um, some of them have, um, but yeah, it hasn't changed the names, maybe I've changed something in the settings, trying to sort it out earlier, um, but Real Madrid has got their name, um, with the the kits and the badges and things like that. And they're actually in good quality as well. Like, they're not really fuzzy or something. So you can see that it's the, the kits, uh, first and second, uh, the goalkeeper's first kit. And if we go to the BPL, um, we will have a look. English League, Arsenal's obviously licensed. Bournemouth, Burnley, um, Chelsea, Crystal Palace, Everton, Hull, Leicester, Liverpool is obviously licensed. Man City, Man United, Middlesbrough. Uh, Southampton, Stoke, Sunderland, Swansea, Tottenham, Watford, West Brom, and West Ham. So, this does work, guys. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead, hit the like button. Um, if you have any problems or anything, let me know in the comments. I'll try to help you to the best of my ability over a YouTube comment. Um, but, yeah, there, some people most likely will have problems with this. Um, but, seriously, just go back and try and do it again. You just All you have to do is download the program from the link that um, I will provide in the description. Uh, and then go ahead and and install it to the directory of which the game that where you downloaded the game. I, I'm not sure if you. I don't know if it works if it's pirated or anything like that. I don't know. I don't particularly touch that stuff. Um, but I got it from Steam, so it does work with this. You just install it to the the folder, 
uh, that you downloaded from and go from there. So it does work. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Once again, if you want to buy this game, the link is in the description to Gamers Outlet. Incredibly cheap, incredibly fast delivery. And that's about it. So thanks so, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Take care.